Hello guys. How are you all doing? I hope you are all good. I would like to extend my thanks to all who supported especially on Kofi donations. Most of you who sent donations are supporters for Swallowed Star. I really appreciate all of you. I am grateful that you guys keep supporting my channel. I have been very busy and updating daily for the channel as well so I can't thank one by one. You all know who you are. So thank you very 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 much, please subscribe to my channel, audio novels, see playlist for other chapters and novels, I do not translate the novels, credits goes to original translator and author of the novel, I only make it as an audio book so it would be easier to just listen while doing other things, credits goes to the author of the novel, I convert stories to audio book for mental health, for multitasking purpose for accessibility and time saving. Listening to audiobook is also beneficial for people who have disability. It improves our listening skills and improve our English comprehension, vocabulary and other things. So, thank you for listening. Thank you and thank you very much for your support. Chapter 916 Exposed. Luo Feng tensed up within, he let Da Lasha rub his braids as Yahoo said beside, I too felt that Bfar was boring today. Are you troubled? Da Lasha continued to rub his braids. I'm just not in a good mood, I don't wish to talk about it. Luo Feng said. Da Lasha looked at him affectionately, looks like Bfar is troubled. Think about it properly anything you cannot solve you can talk to me, I will tell you. Luo Feng nodded, he could feel the strong bonds shared between the group. This was a very powerful bond. The information was true. The Dockers are extremely vicious against intruders, but amongst themselves, they are very affectionate. Any person who kills a Dock would be chased down by all the others. Luo Feng thought, you two can play here. Da Lasha smiled, if you have any matters, come to the shrine to look for me. Okay teacher, Wu Ya said. Understood teacher. Luo Feng said. Da Lasha smiled and turned to leave. Only then did Luo Feng let out a sigh of relief. The footage of when he killed the devil shell monkey earlier was terrifying. Da Lasha was cold and murderous, now however he was almost motherly. Luo Feng didn't know, that when the universe evolved, it produced the special life form Docus at different times, and not simultaneously. Some were produced earlier or later than the others, and it had been over 300 million years since the last one was born. Da Lasha was one of the first nine to be produced, trillions of years before Bfar and Wu Ya. Strength-wise he was also among the top ten, and it was his responsibility to mentor the weaker Dockers. Hence Bfar and Wu Ya all called him teacher. Luo Feng looked at the ice statues before him, of which the monkey was in one, and there was Alquane Race Warrior too. There was even a human warrior. They were all frozen and their souls long frozen to death. What an interesting monkey. Wu Ya carefully examined the monkey for a while. This is the first time I've seen it in real life, I've only seen it in the virtual world before. Virtual world? Luo Feng thought. The virtual skills were considered a very normal technology in the universe, a small area can be called a virtual world. Just like Earth back then, with the quantum computer they acquired from an ancient ship remains. They built the War God Shrine World. This was common technology, the hard part was expanding the area. A world that had an entire galaxy, one that had a star field, or a one whole territory of humanity, or the entire virtual universe. The larger the area, the harder it got. The Dockers have created a virtual world that covers the Ice Hell Star area, this is indeed easy. Acquiring many quantum computers from the generations of intruders should make this easy. Luo Feng understood. Far, let's head to the shrine to take a look, Wu Ya said. The techniques teacher created are very complex. I'm not going, Luo Feng said, I wish to walk alone. Ah, Wu Ya nodded, right? The techniques he made are suited for us not you all. Luo Feng was stunned for a while before he realized she was referring to the green and purple Dockers. Then I'm going. Wu Ya happily skipped and vanished. My luck sure is good. Luo Feng relaxed. I wanted to find a way to move alone. I didn't expect to get the chance so easily. 
I'll head to where the black metal board is stored. He began to fly madly about the palace. Within the depths of the shrine, D.A. Lasha sat cross-legged on the ice floor, his formless god energy permeating throughout the entire palace. He smiled, Wu Ya's headed to the technique shrine, Pfa has gone to the 10,000 item shrine. Wu Ya sure is something. She knew that Pfa wasn't in a good mood, hence she didn't keep him company, instead she headed off to the Technique Shrine. Pfa isn't trained in our ways. It's okay, there are all sorts of items there from the other races, it'll help him cheer up. After which he closed his eyes and connected to the virtual world, chatting with other Dockers within. To the special life form Dockers. Over the long periods of time. There were indeed many daring explorers that have come before. Even though 99% of them had been caught, there would still be lucky ones. This made it so that there would always be others that would come and try their luck. After they are killed, the many treasures and items they carry with them were mostly useless to the Dockers. Normally they were all just used as decoration and toys. D.A. Lasha had placed all these toys within a shrine and called it the 10,000 items shrine. The black metal board was located here as well. Within the shrine, Luo Feng turned casually and arrived there. As the entire palace had been scanned in detail by the monkey before, he already had a clear idea of the construct of the place. Right now, it's just luck. He stepped in on the cold ground, his gaze fixed on a bunch of items before him. It was filled with everything, weapons, armors, special materials etc. They were all placed randomly, and they weren't worth much, at least not to Luo Feng. Black metal board. Luo Feng waved his hand and moved the items to the side, looking at the black metal board buried below, the third metal board. He knew the moment he touched it that this was what he was looking for. Now it's up to luck. I have to leave the moment I take it, he thought. It'll take a while from the palace to get out of Ice Hell Star. Within this time, if D.A. Lasha discovers something off, then I'll be in trouble. However, she shouldn't be too wary of her own race, I have a chance. And from the looks of it, seeing how the board is placed here casually, it's obviously not valued. Luo Feng didn't hesitate anymore. He kept the board in his world ring and headed out. So, he flew within the palace, not too fast or too slow. As he headed out of the entrance of the palace, a voice resounded in his ears, Pfa, you are returning? Not going to wait for Wu Ya? No, I wish to return. Even though he shook within, he still managed to say, I'll come visit teacher again soon. Go on, D.A. Lasha said affectionately. Luo Feng couldn't care about anything else, quickly flying out and heading out of the Ice Hell Star. Even though he could teleport, it wasn't something he dared to do. Dot because the moment he teleported, he would be discovered. This was something the Virtual Universe Company's information had stated. Even though he was in a rush, he had to continue flying. Ice Hell Star's virtual world within the vast plaza. D.A. Lasha was sitting with three other Dockers, drinking wine and shaking his head, this child Pfa, I wonder what's wrong, when he came to me earlier, he seemed to be troubled and I felt like there was some change, maybe his confession was rejected, another Docker laughed, at 1000 Dockers, even though they were unable to reproduce, the green Dockers had always chased after the purple ones, living together, the green ones were more numerous, and the purple ones were less. Also, the purple dockers enjoyed living in solitude more, hence it was normal to face rejection. D.A. Lasha, you said Bfa visited you and was troubled? I just saw him with Bo Ya and they were laughing happily, playing some battle games. Laughing? D.A. Lasha's expression changed. The dockers were pure, they wouldn't lie to each other. How could he have been troubled earlier and then gone to play battle games? laughing happily at the same time. D.A. Lasha who was sitting cross-legged within the shrine suddenly opened his eyes. His expression changed. A formless god energy swiftly spread outside, sweeping past Moshe Hall Yuo Feng who had just flown out the pathway of the Ice Hell Star. His spirit energy easily scanned through his body. Dot discovering that the fake Pfa had a life crystal within. It's not Pfa, intruder. His eyes were instantly filled with murderous intent. Shwa. D.A. Lash instantly teleported and vanished from the shrine, appearing before Luo Feng. Teleportation, 
This was forbidden within Ice Hell Star, even though there were powerful Dockers that could do it, like D.A. Lasher, they normally didn't use it, relying on universe travel to visit their friends, because dot the quickest method used by intruders was teleporting, as long as the Dockers didn't use it, the moment they discovered a teleportation space ripple, it would definitely be an intruder, other than that, when chasing down an intruder, they could all use it, in all, discovering a teleportation space ripple meant intruders, or a major situation, intruder, an intruder is here, within the many ice hell stars about, 10 powerful dockers felt the space ripple, and within the two biggest ice hell stars, one with a diameter of 13,000 kilometers and another with 96,000 kilometers. The terrifying knights lived within them. The special life form knights. They were terrifying from birth. Intruder, there's an intruder. The two knights instantly felt it too. As long as I fly out of this ice hell star and accelerate to light speed, I'll be able to escape. Luo Feng rushed out of the pathway and continued to fly. As he got close to the outer surface, a powerful air force similar to Earth's atmosphere rushed forward. He had to fly out to accelerate to light speed. Rumble. A powerful energy appeared in the air before him. It was the purple silhouette D.A. Lasher, filled with murderous intent. His eyes fixed on Luo Feng as he roared, Intruder. Luo Feng who was flying out saw the silhouette. His expression changed. Chapter 917, Flee. D.A. Lasher was filled with rage within, she didn't expect an intruder to disguise himself as one of her clansmen, she even rubbed his braids, this enraged her further, no mercy, rumble, she teleported to the air above Luo Feng, looking coldly at the fake Pfar, without saying anything she pointed a finger at him, a purple light instantly shot at Moshe Hall Luo Feng, Luo Feng knew things weren't good, sheet, I've been discovered. Plan C. He immediately teleported. However the purple light's speed was incredibly fast, it shot through his body and a terrifying cold pierced his body, almost like it was freezing his consciousness. It couldn't be helped, the power of this beam was against the soul, however it was completely useless against the Moshe body which was immune to soul attacks. So, he vanished. What? She couldn't believe it. She had used her full strength to freeze the enemy's soul, yet he still escaped. She closed her eyes and sensed about, connecting with the space ripples. However Luo Feng's teleport was too far away, exceeding her area. D.A. Lasha, don't make such a mistake again, leave it to me. A booming voice resounded within her mind. Leader, he stole a black metal board. I know leave it to me, yes leader, she nodded, feeling unjust within, yet she still didn't think that the thief could get away, as she teleported, the terrifying two knights had felt it, even if she let the thief get away, with the two knights dot any one of them could easily catch up to him, so, Moshe Hall Yuo Feng appeared in the space far away before vanishing again, so, he appeared in the air above a continent before vanishing again, so, 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 madly teleporting about, every time over one light year away, as he didn't care about the dangers, and was simply fleeing as fast as he could, in the air above a continent, a powerful green silhouette stood in space his eyes smiling, this puncture is fast, however he only knows how to teleport, compared to grasping the entire space laws, it's an entire different level, how can he escape, he began to sense the ripples all about, easily finding a spot where there were teleporting ripples, there, he flashed and began to hunt, once one comprehended teleportation, whether it was a sector lord or emperor, the distance would all be about the same, it was a reflection of the comprehension of the space laws, communing with the space ripples and teleporting via the ripples to a far away location, comprehending teleportation would allow one to usually sense up to one light year away in a particular direction, however sensing in all directions, that was much more taxing, and the distance wouldn't even be 1% of working in one direction, hence, as Luo Feng fled, D.A. Lasha had no way to guess where he teleported to, the knights however were different, once one fully comprehends the space laws, 
The knight's teleportation was much more powerful, they could easily teleport over 1000 light years, even sensing in all directions. They could cover over 10 light years in area. Luckily Liu Feng teleported constantly, changing his direction over and over. It would take the knight quite some effort to catch him. Who? Mo Shou Liu Feng appeared above a mountain range his hands and feet landing, so, he once again vanished, a green silhouette appeared right after before vanishing again, one was fleeing while the other one chased, this punk is really not stopping, the green silhouette chased for 10 seconds before he got impatient, as they teleported 10 times per second, and he had originally wanted to easily capture this intruder, it was much harder now, he could only teleport after he detected where Liu Feng was, the moment he confirmed, he teleported, however the time alone was enough for Liu Feng to get away, I'll have to use some energy, he stood in space, surrounded by little black mountains, there were many ship remains amongst the mountains, this was one of the dangerous regions in the black flower region, of course to the night's dot he couldn't be bothered, he unleashed his move, rumble, a blinding green light shot out from his body, he instantly became a star, shooting lights in all directions, he gave off such powerful energy to disturb the space ripples about, with a knight's strength, he could control the entire space laws, allowing him to easily seal and disrupt space ripples, just affecting the ripples was easy enough, but it had to be within a fixed area, he had burnt some of his undying energy, and his strength had soared to an unbelievable level, Weng, almost like plucking a string, rippling throughout, the knight had used his full strength to disrupt the space ripples around, spreading over ten light years, a light year was a huge area, in a normal fight, knights had no way to affect one light year in area, even if it was simply affecting the space ripples, they still had to burn some undying energy to affect over ten light years, amidst the mist, Mo Shou Liu Feng was about to teleport when he turned and sighed, he clearly felt the space ripples affected, with broken lines all over, even though they would recover quickly, for now dot he couldn't teleport, rumble, a powerful pressure extended over, covering the space, the area around naturally had its space locked down too, the powerful seal dot made Liu Feng immobile, almost like a full binding, greetings knight, Mo Shou Liu Feng shouted, return to your original form, I don't like killing my own clansmen, the voice boomed as the green silhouette appeared before him, he was about the same height as the other docus, but his pressure was much stronger, their willpower and strength he gave off, shocked even Liu Feng, since you want to kill me, why order me to do something, Liu Feng looked at the knight before him, the green knight looked at him, you sure got some guts, as a Moshu clansman, you aren't afraid of soul control, yes, Liu Feng nodded, the Moshu clansman didn't have a soul, naturally it couldn't be controlled, this was the difference in life, forms itself, Liu Feng had checked up on this long ago, he was clear on this, speak, Moshu genius, the knight looked at him, a sector lord and yet you can teleport, even amongst the Moshu, you are definitely an absolute genius, but you came to us, what I'm curious about is, from the way you kept teleporting, you knew well you couldn't escape, yet you still did something so useless, forcing me to burn 0.1% of my undying body, you should know that doing so would only enrage me, knowing there's no escape and enraging a knight, that's not wise at all, yes, Mo Shou Liu Feng smiled, kill me and you'll know the reason, don't tell me, the knight gave off murderous energy, revealing a look of rage, he waved his hand and with a rumble, a formless slap smashed the Mo Shou body, instantly reducing him to nothing, even the normal world rings and devices etc were all destroyed, nothing, that black metal board, it's gone, the knight looked about, he had destroyed everything and even amongst the fragments, he didn't find anything, his expression changed, within the entire ice hell star, the other dockers all didn't know the importance of the black metal board, however only he and the other purple knight knew, I've been played, he raged, he must have placed it somewhere else when he teleported, in another area of the black flower region, thousands of light years away from ice hell star, a living ship was floating, within, Liu Feng stood in the control room, wielding the stone in his hand, 
smiling, I've got it. To get this nine volume manual, he had come up with many plans, just the Moshaw plan alone had six side plans, enough to deal with all sorts of predicaments. This plan C had taken in consideration the knights not being willing to burn his undying energy. According to this plan, if the Moshaw body were to be discovered, immediately take the board and teleport away. After that, teleport over and over. The process had to be fast, fast, fast. No hesitation. Teleporting over and over, even if the knight wanted to kill him, he wouldn't bear to burn his undying energy immediately. Only when he got impatient would he do so. However, in truth, Within the mountain range from before, Liu Feng had arranged for a slave to be in a world ring there, hiding within. When the Moshe teleported there and landed on the mountain, he would place a stone like world ring there and teleport away. The Green Knight would keep chasing. Not knowing that the slave had taken the ring away and gone through universe travel, after 10 seconds in the dark universe, they would have already reached a far enough place. I've got the item time to leave. I lost an official devil shell monkey and the Moshaw body this time. However it would just take some energy to reproduce him. Liu Feng wielded the stone and smiled. Suddenly, a cold energy engulfed the area. Liu Feng's expression changed, turning. A beautiful purple robed demon stood behind him. Liu Feng was stunned. He knew dot just who this was. It was the other knight of ice hell star. The Purple Doku Knight, Chapter 918, Ice Hell, Purple Doku Knight, Liu Feng hated the fact that his plan still fell short, now he was in trouble, he bowed slightly to express respect, greetings Purple Doku Knight, little punk, you sure are impressive, the knight looked at him and smiled elusively, you actually managed to swindle the other knight and make him waste his time, no matter, I still couldn't escape from you. Liu Feng shook his head, after which he turned curiously to him. I wonder if you could explain to me how you managed to find me even after I got free from the Green Knight? The Purple Knight looked curiously at him. She didn't expect the mastermind behind the stealing of the useless black metal board dot to actually chat with her so casually. It was almost like he was speaking to his elder, wasn't he worried at all? Worried that he would be killed? Wasn't he worried that he would be made a soul slave? Purple Knight. Liu Feng was being stared down. Aren't you afraid I'd kill you? That I'll enslave you? The Knight asked. At this point, I have no way to resist. What's the use? Liu Feng said. Interesting. The Purple Knight smiled. You little punk. You sent the Moshe to steal. And he stole nothing but the useless special metal board. Even though it's special, it's still useless. D.A. Lasha had the ice hell stone. It's interesting you didn't go for that instead. My underling was useless. His perspectives were too low and he knew too little about the treasures of the universe. When he saw the black metal board, he thought it was special and thought it was a treasure, hence he took it. Liu Feng shook his head, but he knew too. The stone would be guarded well, he'd have no chance of stealing it. He is smart, if he went to steal the ice hell stone. D.A. Lasha would immediately suspect he was the fake Pfar. The knight nodded. I chanced upon this metal board back then, however after studying it for a while, I didn't find any use for it. Hence I took it as a toy and passed it around. It finally ended up with D.A. Lasha. Liu Feng was stunned. Toy? Indeed, the nine volume manual within the metal board was limited by the universe laws, only one person could use it. To others, it was completely useless. The two knights probably didn't recognize its importance and took it as a toy. I wonder if the knight can release me, I'm willing to pay for my actions. Liu Feng bowed. This wasn't something he thought on the fly, but rather from the information he gathered from the virtual universe company. The two knights liked to collect treasures. Some intruders that had been caught had used treasures to exchange for their lives before. Release you? The purple knight looked curiously at Liu Feng. Seems right, that black metal board is but a toy. I'll sell it to you, but the cost won't be small. Please speak. Liu Feng was gleeful within. There were pros and cons to the deal, but he didn't expect to get lucky enough to get to keep the metal board. Seeing your moves, your background must not be ordinary. The cost would naturally her expression suddenly changed, she glanced at him and said seriously, punk, 
you actually forced Green Knight to burn part of his undying body and you've completely enraged him. It looks like I cannot let you go. Liu Feng's expression changed. He naturally knew that the Moshe had completely enraged the Green Knight. Come with me. The Purple Knight didn't say any more. A formless space ripple spread throughout. Su, Su, Su. There were three consecutive teleports, and each of them over 1000 light years. When Liu Feng's sight finally regained stability, they had already reached an incredibly cold planet. He looked around. This vast ice planet had many ice hell stars in the sky. This is on an ice hell star, and it's an extremely huge one. It's where either of the knights live. Liu Feng thought, where's my ship? He was originally in the ship, yet now it was gone. Looks like they took my living ship away. Rumble. A powerful energy appeared in the air and stared down at Liu Feng. It was the green knight. Ha ha dot you sure got humiliated. Purple knight laughed. H-M-P-H. This human. The green knight landed and stared at him. You sent the Moshe. Where's his main body? He actually sacrificed himself so easily. That must not be its main body. Green knight. The Moshe's real body is my friend. Liu Feng said respectfully. I specially got his help this time and I already owe him a favor. How can I rat him out? The purple knight spoke beside, stupid, if you just say a special person, like if this friend was the disciple of the huge axe founder, or the disciple of the primal chaos city leader. Anyway, any disciple of the super warriors of humanity. I wonder if he'd dare go take revenge. The purple knight mocked. HMPH. The Green Knight stared at Liu Feng. Despicable. If I can just kill you like that, it would be too easy. Suddenly, in the distant space, ripples occurred. Ten silhouettes had come through universe travel over. Some were green while others were purple. They all landed down. And the numbers kept growing. More ripples kept appearing about. This is the one that acted as me? Pfa stared at Liu Feng. The one that did has already been killed. This is the mastermind, the green knight said. Leader is so powerful, killing that imposter and catching the mastermind, Pfa said excitedly. Beside him the group of sector lords all stared at Liu Feng like he was some rare goods. The group of dockers were all close and affectionate. Their treatment of the knights weren't how sector lords usually treated knights with fear and respect. However it was almost like respect for their grandfather. Leader, you killed that intruder? He even held my hand. Wu Ya seemed unhappy. That was an imposter. Pfar shouted, I'm the real Pfar. I know, Wu Ya said. The hundred dockers all cheered. Da Lasha stared at Liu Feng. His eyes filled with murderous intent. It was obvious he was still angry from being deceived earlier. Two leaders, I wonder how you will deal with this human. Da Lash asked. Immediately the rest of the dockers all turned to the two leaders. The green knight looked at the purple knight beside. The purple knight laughed. You seem enraged. You decide. H-M-P-H. The green knight stared at him. We have to slowly destroy him. D.A. Lasher. You will personally bind him. Send him to the ice hell. Yes. What? Ice hell? This intruder sure is unlucky. The ice hell is about to be opened again. The other sector lord Docus all cheered. Liu Feng's expression was ugly, he thought within, ice hell? It's just as I thought. As long as they don't kill me dot they definitely lock me in the ice hell. There's still a chance. I don't have to get the city leader's help yet. Why was this region called Ice Hell Star? The ice cold planets, why not simply call them ice stars, instead, ice hell stars? Why the word hell? It was because of a legendary place within the area dot that was ice hell. According to the information he had gathered, ice hell was a powerful special weapon similar to the sealed stars. It could lock up many warriors within. One of the two knights was in control of the weapon. Go. D.A. Lash and the others stared at him. Liu Feng didn't resist. He allowed himself to be chained. What a joke. D.A. Lash and the other two undyings were the top ten warriors of the Docus. Their god bodies were all ten million times stronger than a sect to lords. With body and spirit energy amplification and etc. These three were all as strong as true Yan. These were special life forms. Their basic genetics were much higher than humans. Plus these three were the most exceptional of the undyings. Naturally they were extremely powerful. Before. 
the Moshor had escaped because soul attacks were useless against it, and with its teleportation, even True Yan wouldn't have been able to chase him. It had to be a knight with a full grasp of the space laws, only such a warrior could have caught him. Within the dark universe, a ship was flying slowly, within the control room stood Tan Chen. Within his world ring, Howl, the golden horned beast's huge body was lying there. Its internal world was producing another Moshe body, who, black clothed Liuo Feng appeared beside Master Fu Shui and the others bowed respectfully. Luckily I left a back door, he said softly. I knew the great being's mission wouldn't be that simple, hence my main core had to absolutely stay safe. After all, the moment I fall, even if the primal chaos city leader reversed time and space to revive me, I wouldn't be able to have the star tower and other treasures. I'd also lose the nine volume manual. Of all the plans, there was one simple prerequisite. The main core had to be safe, hence, when the Moshe body was in action, the earth body had separated from the beast's body, the beast carried the main core and Tan Chen and the others, flying in the dark universe. No matter how my plans fail, at least the main core will be safe. The earth body is the tower pearl guarding the soul, hence he cannot be soul controlled. If a powerful attack hits, to protect the many treasures on the earth body, I'll get the help of teacher. Black cloth Liuo Feng thought, there's no need at the moment, the two of them haven't discovered my true treasures, they are simply locking me in the ice hell. Chapter 919 stuck in ice hell. The two knights obviously didn't know that this was but the earth body of Liu Feng. Even though he had the Shao wings, the star map and tower pearl which were all incredibly important, if he was forced into a corner, Liu Feng would call his teacher the primal chaos city leader to show himself, and he would be able to take his treasures away. The star map and tower pearl were almost considered true treasures. Even if the city leader discovered them, he wouldn't take them away, hence he was still grounded within, the only thing was calling his teacher was his last choice, until he was in a dire crisis, he would never do so, within the core of the purple knight's ice hell star, the layer majestic ice palace over 10,000 kilometers tall, both knights walked side by side within the palace, actually, I really want to slap this human to death, the green knight said, are you looking for death, the sitting mountain guest, just who is he, that's one of the strongest in the entire universe, if we offend him, even with the warriors we know, no one would be able to protect us, if you want to die, don't drag the clansmen with you, the purple knight scolded him, the green knight smiled, I'm just saying, come on, we are both knights, what's more, we are among the most powerful of knights in the universe, yet we have to put on a show before this human, this was an order from mountain sitting guest, we definitely have to follow them, and he even gave us quite a bit of rewards, the purple knight nodded, back then, he had ordered for us to casually put the black metal board within a nice hell star, forbidding us from putting it on our stars, awaiting an intruder to steal it, he even said, as long as a flesh or blood life form stole it, we cannot kill him, we have to lock him in ice hell. The green knight frowned. That Moshe was an energy life form. I killed it instantly. However the mastermind was actually a human. Why do you think he gave such an order? The green knight asked. Isn't it obvious? He spent so much effort probably to nurture a strong warrior. The purple knight's eyes gleamed this human should have been picked by him, nurturing a disciple, the green knight shook his head, what a vicious teacher, he knew very well the rules of our ice hell, yet he still wants to send this human in, even if his disciple is powerful, he should know what kind of warriors are within our ice hell, vicious, the purple knight said, it could be a tough training, if he can't get past this, and the human dies, it's akin to the sitting mountain guest killing him, anyway, it's none of our business, the green knight nodded, the two chatted as they walked, however this human was indeed crafty, even I was fooled, how did you find the black metal board, the green knight asked curiously, when the sitting mountain guest gave the order back then, he said if some intruder managed to get away with the black metal board, so be it, only if he was captured by us would he be sent to ice hell, he he, the purple knight laughed, quickly, 
Tell me how you did it, the green knight asked. The purple knight smiled. Didn't the Moshe teleport over and over with the board? Along the way, he disguised it as a rock in a world ring and placed it on a floating mountain range. That was when I took notice that another intruder took the rock and fled. I followed him and finally discovered the human. After observing him for a while, I confirmed that the mastermind was the human. Only then did I show myself. No, the green knight shook his head. I was chasing the Moshe all the while. You didn't even chase. And the way he teleported dot placing the ring on the mountain range would have only taken an instant. Even when I teleported over, I didn't realize it, how did you? And how could you have caught up in time? The purple knight smiled mysteriously. Quickly tell me, he asked curiously. Very simple. She said proudly, I left a small imprint on the black metal board. No matter where it goes, I can sense it. We all have our own markers. I can feel you constantly changing your location, however the black metal board stopped moving after a while. Hence, I immediately teleported to where it was hidden. I observed the other intruder take it away and followed, you know what happened next. You, the green knight stared, you actually left an imprint. You left one on the board. Why not? She smiled. I've been very curious. As to this entire plot set up by the sitting mountain guest, I wanted to see just who it was for, however I was worried that he would get away without us knowing. To prevent that, I did this, ha ha. He never once said we couldn't do this. What's more, he wanted us to catch the thief and send him to ice hell anyway. The green knight shook his head, he felt sorry for Liu Feng. He had actually gotten away, but because of the purple knight's curiosity. He got caught. Poor fellow, let's hope he doesn't die inside. He shook his head. Anyway, we cannot intervene. Whether he lives or dies, that'll depend on his luck. If he dies, he would have died under the sitting mountain guest straining. It has nothing to do with us. The purple knight shook her head. The sitting mountain guest ventures the universe in solitude. He is eccentric, even the superpowers do not dare mess with him. It's indeed true. He's eccentric. The green knight shook his head. Within the huge ice hell star which was the green knight's home, it had a majestic pillar that was about 800 kilometers thick and over 10,000 kilometers tall. Who? Four silhouettes rushed down. It was Da Lash and the three powerful warriors that held Liu Feng captive. The space around them was completely locked down. It was obvious that one of them was maintaining the lockdown around them preventing this crafty human from teleporting away. They didn't know that without the Moshe body's help, his earth body still had no way to teleport. That's ice hell? Luo Feng gazed at the huge ice pillar. An unbelievable energy engulfed the area about, one that was no weaker than the sealed star. Right, that's ice hell. Da Lasha held on to him and said coldly, You seem relaxed, you are about to locked up? and you probably won't get out even after a trillion years from the never-ending fear and horrors within, finally dying within, yet you aren't nervous at all, I'm already captured, what's the use, Luo Feng smiled, his main core was with the golden horned beast far from the black flower region, it was within a slave's god country, as long as he called for it, they could teleport via God Country over and take him away. Luo Feng gazed at the distant ice hell. The legend of the ice hell was the most renowned one within this area. It was said that even though the knights would kill the captured intruders, if they captured some absolute warriors or some special undyings, they would lock them within. Through the long periods of time and trillions of eras, nobody knows how many warriors were locked within. Their strengths within would naturally rise too. Plus the two knights had forced the captured intruders to kill each other, training, killing, endless amounts of time within. With such pressure, it made the ice hell a madhouse. Unless I face a dire situation, I have no need to call my teacher. Also dot on my way to becoming a true absolute warrior, I hope never to have to call him. Luo Feng had long had this thought. From his point of view, being forced to call his teacher was humiliating. If he had the strength, he would do it alone. Growing along the way, even standing on par with his teacher, 
even surpassing him, along this path. He didn't wish to call him at all, this were his own standards. A true warrior would never give himself excuses. Da Lash and the others grabbed onto Liu Feng and arrived before the ice hell. Human, the Green Knight said fiercely, even though you are quite strong, the weakest captured within are at least temperers. Without that amount of strength. The leaders wouldn't even bother locking them up within, and being locked for unknown lengths killing madly within, let me give you some advice. If you fear all these, it's better to self-destruct. The darkness and madness within is not something you can take. Ah, I am definitely anticipating it. Luo Feng smiled. This is your tag. Da Lash atost it casually. A purple and green ice tag was thrown to him, and on it were demon race numbers. Luo Feng received it. This is my identity. Luo Feng was curious. Thinking within, this almost feels like the number given to earth prisoners. Go on. Da Lasha pushed him strongly. Who? Luo Feng was pushed straight to the edge, within 100 km of the ice hell. In an instant, rumble. A terrifying swallowing force engulfed him, almost like an endless whirlpool. Luo Feng immediately opened his wings within trying to resist it. Don't resist, if you do. You'll know the consequences. Da Lash and the others looked coldly at him. Seems right. Luo Feng shook his head. This was the territory of two knights. They could teleport here immediately. Then I'll go check this ice hell out. Luo Feng looked up at the source of the swallowing energy. A black cave had already split open from the ice hell. The many layers formed what seemed like a fan of leaves. Rumble. He was sucked right in. Rumble. Layers and layers of fan like leaves opened and closed. The huge ice pillar once again returned to its original form, and not a single trace of the slits was visible again. From then on, Luo Feng was locked in the ice hell. Enjoy yourself, human. Da Lasha looked coldly at the ice pillar. Let's go, Da Lasha. Let's go. They became beams of light and swiftly rushed into the sky. Chapter 920 danger. It was a vast ice world. Hwa. After being swallowed, Liu Feng felt a terrifying force act on his body. It was almost like a majestic mountain had pinned him down. With a flap of his wings, he withstood the force and floated in the air, gazing at the vast ice world. This is ice hell? He looked about. The space about seemed like it had trillions of unseen blades causing the space to shake occasionally. This is indeed a true treasure. It frequently shakes the space, making it impossible to teleport via God Country. Luo Feng had expected this. Any true sealing treasure would definitely suppress God Country teleportation. The requirements to teleport via God Country were harsh. It had to be within a steady space. During battle with the ripples of energy all around, one couldn't teleport via God Country. And I cannot teleport here. Luo Feng sensed. The space ripples in here were completely cut off from those outside. Even with the Moshe body, I can at most teleport within ice hell. I cannot teleport out. This is pretty similar to the forbidden space within the Star Tower. Star Tower had countless forbidden spaces, and the warriors could only teleport within each space, but not out or to another. Unable to teleport via God Country or normal teleportation, all the while feeling like the weight of a mountain was on him, this was what Liu Feng felt when he entered Ice Hell. The only thing he could be happy about was that he could connect to the virtual universe. Impressive. I've been in the Star Tower, Demon Mountain, Primal Universe, Blood River World. Anyway, everywhere I've been to has allowed me to connect to the virtual universe. Luo Feng couldn't help but exclaim. This virtual universe truly was omnipotent. Even within a true treasure, one could still connect. Master, the space around is too special. The large scanner cannot function properly. The mini scanner can still work properly. But Barter's subsidiary AI reported the problem to him. Liu Feng nodded, the mini scanner was much more advanced than the large one. It could still be used in ice hell. For the green knight to lock me in here for an indefinite amount of time, it shouldn't be that simple right? Liu Feng landed on the snowy ground. He took several steps, each one over 1000 kilometers long. I'll explore this area and see why he actually locked me in here. As he walked within, 
the footsteps he left behind finally drew the attention of another warrior within. Claw marks? What claws are these? A blurry black silhouette landed on the snow. None of the warriors in Ice Hell should have these. Is there a newcomer? Adds by Pubfutcher he he he. My chance has come. This Ice Hell sure is vast. Luo Feng suddenly stopped, looking around. The binding is too strong. My spirit energy can only cover 10,000 kilometers in area. Hence, I can only check a small portion of it at a time. I've already walked 100,000 kilometers, yet I still can't see the end of the snow and mountains. Just like a marble-sized little sealed star has its own forbidden space within, or a world within a world ring. This ice hell, as a true treasure of the green knight, had a space that far exceeded its outer appearance. Who? He took a deep breath the chill entering his chest as he stride out again. It was said that there are many warriors within, I don't believe I can't even meet one. He continued forward. He left many footprints in the snow, every one of them over 1000 kilometers apart. A normal human had no way to even track him. However to the strong, over 1000 kilometers was a simple step. Master, ambush. The mini scan swiftly sent out a warning. Rumble. Luo Feng flapped his wings, causing the space around to shake as he flew up. A black beam of light shot right past him and landed on the snow. Luo Feng looked down from high above. The sat a cross-legged black life form, it had a body length of over 8 meters long, but its tail was even longer than its body. It had long fangs and eyes that were burning with black flames. It stared at Luo Feng and it was body covered in black scales. Soul Swallowing Beast Luo Feng was stunned. The Soul Swallowing Beast was an incredibly rare creature of the universe, just like the Golden Horned Beast and Moshe which were rare as well, this was comparable to the Moshe Such a rare beast dot had its own natural abilities, and it had two. Human, you actually recognized me. A hoarse voice resounded from the beast. To actually meet a soul swallowing beast here in ice hell, ha ha, we have some fate. Luo Feng smiled and descended. Landing on the snow, he smiled at the beast which was filled with killing intent. Beast, I just entered ice hell. I wonder if you can explain to me the situation here in ice hell? Arrogant human. The beast howled and sprung forward, fast as lightning. Within Ice Hell which had the powerful pressure, it was already much slower than before, however its current speed was still shocking. Who? Luo Feng flapped his wings and easily dodged. I'm willing to chat with you, why fight it out? Luo Feng laughed easily. The beast however howled hoarsely and vanished. Teleportation? Luo Feng squinted. Behind him? The beast appeared once again and opened its huge mouth to bite him. However Luo Feng detected it and flapped his wings, stopping the bite. Ka! The beast bit hard on the Xiaowu wings, feeling the force of the G-grade metal. Soul Blade. Luo Feng turned to face the beast. His powerful willpower became a spirit energy blade, infusing it with the beast god presence. He slashed it straight at the beast's soul. A simple soul attack. Even though he wasn't exactly very proficient in soul attacks, his willpower and consciousness were indeed strong enough to control such moves with precision. Unleashing a powerful illusion may still be very difficult, but a simple soul attack wasn't that bad. Simply infusing the beast god presence in. Even though his soul blade construction skills were considered crude. But his beast god presence had reached an incredibly high level. His move wasn't weaker than the pinnacle emperor soul master's attack. Weng. The beast was stunned immediately by the attack. Luo Feng waved his left hand. Six black balls shot out, hitting the stunned beast's body. Without any resistance, the first ball tore through its bones and muscles, the second one caused it to explode apart, while the others swirled within, dissipating the fragments that remained. Who? The beast simply vanished. Vanished? Luo Feng's expression changed. He didn't regenerate or teleport. How did he just vanish? I didn't even use the FMO poison. Teleporting required one to reform his body first. When a warrior was slashed into parts, the parts were unable to teleport on their own. To vanish after being reduced to fragments usually meant one thing. The main body of the beast was far away. That way. Even if its god body was destroyed, 
the scattered undying energy had its imprint long ago, it would naturally return to its main body. Is this, doppelganger, Liu Feng thought, this is just one of its doppelgangers. The soul swallowing beast had two natural abilities. The first was the terrifying attacking move soul swallow, the second one was its terrifying fleeing ability. Doppelganger, the body formed from this ability, in terms of strength, was far from the main body. It was so weak it couldn't even use its first ability. However, it at least knew the laws, as long as the main body did, so would the doppelganger. After being ambushed once, Luo Feng continued forward. He didn't expect that the soul swallowing beast would ambush him another two times. The second time it had used a soul attack, with Luo Feng's terrifying willpower and the beast god howl, he easily withstood it. He didn't even need the tower pearl's help. The third time, the beast used illusions, which was still ineffective. Luo Feng used the same methods to deal with him, using the stars from star map. He easily killed the beast master. That beast is using his doppelgangers to attack you over and over, he's obviously testing your strength. If you aren't too much of a threat, his real body would probably show itself. If you are too strong, he would carefully avoid you, he sure is crafty, Ji Hong said within the world ring. Master didn't even show his strength or use the FMO poison, Honed Heart said. Luo Feng brought two warriors within his world ring. The others all followed the golden horned beast's body. Honed Heart was a soul master. Ji Hong carried the ancient clock. With the two combined, in dire times, they could easily change the outcome of the battle. When Liu Feng was planning how to steal the black metal board back then, he had considered what would happen if he was caught. Hence he left two warriors to protect his earth body. His earth body after all had no way to burn undying energy. This was the biggest difference between him and the other warriors. Without burning undying energy, he could win against many. The moment they burnt their undying energy, he would be disadvantaged. I'll patiently wait for him, let's see if he shows himself. Luo Feng continued to walk in the snow. He believed that there were other warriors around. The Green Knight's words before and D.A. Lasha's warnings, they state that ice hell is terrifying. Just which part of it is terrifying? 